Yeah, this is uh, this is our feel good story of the day. Yes. So by ling or terrifying, depending on how paranoid you are about chips in the brain controlling right. the future of humanity. Bilingual AI brain. If you're implant, neurotic about that kind of thing. If you're yeah. if you're neurotic about uh, about Elon's company. Yeah. Um, if, if you think something could go wrong with Elon Musk owning a company that implants <laughs> chips in people's brains, owning a piece of your brain. Yeah. 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 Uh, silly things like that. Uh, bilingual AI brain implant helps stroke survivor communicate in Spanish and English. Now this is really pretty remarkable. Um, scientists at the University of California, San Francisco have developed a bilingual brain implant that uses artificial intelligence to help a stroke survivor communicate in Spanish and English for the first time. Nearly a dozen scientists from the university's Center for Neural Engineering and Prosthesis have worked for several years to design a decoding system that could turn the man's brain activity into sentences in both languages and display them on a screen. An article published May 20th in Nature Biomedical Engineering outlining their research identifies the man as Pancho. At age 20, he became severely paralyzed as a result of a stroke he had in the early 2000s. Pancho can moan and grunt but can't articulate clear words. He is a native Spanish speaker who learned English as an adult. Under the leadership of Dr. Edward Chang, a neurosurgeon who serves as co-director of the Center for Neural Engineering and Prosthesis, Pancho received a neural implant in February 2019, allowing scientists to start tracking his brain activity. By using an AI method known as a neural network, researchers were able to train Pancho's implant to decode words based on the brain activity produced when he attempted to articulate them. Now, that is really amazing to me, that you could track specifically to that extent exactly what, neur I assume that's how it's working, what neuron fires when you think of what word to translate yeah. it. That, it's like that's like the zeros and ones on, a, right. on, a, on like CDs and shit like that. That's yeah. amazing to me that they can yeah. get that granular with yeah. that. It, it it actually lends some, th this is a common trope in sci-fi that in the future, uh, for for judicial proceedings, they'll be able to read your memories. Maybe they will. Maybe Sounds they like will. it. Why yeah. not? If you could, if you could really decode those neurons, which neurons represent what, and then translate it into visual and audio imagery. Um, this AI training method basically allows the brain implant, known scientifically as a brain computer interface device to process data in a way that is somewhat similar to the human brain. By 2021, the technology had significantly helped restore Pancho's ability to communicate, but only in English. Quote, speech decoding has primarily been shown for monolinguals, but half the world is bilingual with each language contributing to a person's personality and worldview. Chang's research group said on X. There is a need to develop decoders that let bilinguals communicate with both languages. However, the 2021 research served as the foundation to develop the decoding system that later made Pancho's brain implant bilingual in Spanish and English. After discovering that Pancho's brain had cortical activity across both languages years after he became paralyzed, the scientists realized they could leverage that to train a bilingual brain implant without the need to train separate language-specific decoding systems. Quote, we leverage this finding to demonstrate transfer learning across languages. Data collected in a first language could significantly expedite training a decoder in the second language. Chang's research group said on X because it is based on the brain activity produced by, quote, the intended vocal tract movements of the participant, irrespective of the language. So that's interesting. That's suggesting that the neurons they're tracking are actually the neurons that make certain sounds. Right. That trigger a speech pattern. Right. But I mean, right. the subtleties of that are just incredible. I mean, it's just like... 
it's unthinkable to me. I mean, as someone who doesn't know how a lot of shit works, I mean, I don't really right. know how a fucking yeah. toilet bowl works. You know, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, like, I don't know. <laughs> right, I mean, I know why, why he doesn't use one. Yeah, right. that's why I don't use them. <laughs> I was always afraid of them. Yeah, no, I mean, I don't really get. You like, saw a movie once where a snake came out. <laughs> since then, seriously, like you look at a place like New York City, you think, how do all the pipes run right here? Like, how do all the water pipes not get backed up constantly? Like, that is too abstract for me. This, this is like something I wouldn't even think possible. And the other right. question I have is like, okay, th well, this is appearing a in NBC now. Uh, how long have they had this kind of technology? Like, this is where you can go down a rabbit hole. You'd be like, has the CIA had this for 20 years? Like, have they been using this shit for a long time? Or is are we just hearing about it as it comes to, to market? Like, when you think about what the capabilities are of this kind of technology, you think, well, what if, what if we're here? What if we're not in on the ground floor? What if we're hearing about it at a later stage when they're just pushing it to market? You know, I mean, I don't have any proof of that. I'm just saying it raises that question. Like, wow, I'm, this is I'm actually just... possible? This is doable? I can't prove it. I'm just asking questions. Just asking questions. I'm, I'm just asking questions. Well, what's really interesting about this, and I think the the million dollar question, literally, could you eventually do this in reverse, which is really the the dream or the nightmare, depending on who you're asking, of putting the chip in and it telling you how to speak Spanish without you ever having learned it? Can it go right. the other way? Right, right, right. Hmm. Um, I mean, that's really what these Neuralink things are aimed at. Like, right. first, the applications are going to be things like this, trying to, trying to cure paralysis, that uh, stroke victims, brain damage. Uh, but ultimately, what they want to do is the matrix, where you right. could put a chip in and know things you never studied. Right. Um. Hmm. In 2022, the scientists sought out to prove that. They again used the artificial neural network to train Poncho's brain implant on the distinct neural activity produced by his bilingual speech. According to their findings, Poncho was able to use the bilingual decoding system powering his brain implant to participate in a conversation switching between both languages on the basis of preference. The study ultimately shows the feasibility of a bilingual speech neuroprosthesis or bilingual brain implant and provides a glimpse into how this type of technology has the potential to restore more natural communication among bilingual speakers with paralysis, according to the May 20th article. So there's a, there's a feel good thing with some ominous overtones. Yeah, right. yeah, that, that's like act one of a dystopian sci-fi film where, oh, look how great this is, right? <laughs> it's like the first 20 minutes of, like, Westworld, right? Oh, yes. this is fun. Yeah, yeah. This is fun. And then, and that, and then in the future, you <laughs> yeah. see people with terrified eyes being controlled by an over overseer with a remote control. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But, I mean, that is – it is just incredible. And like I said, you know, I, I, I want to look more into AI and – you know how it works what it can do i mean that's something you wouldn't even conceptualize like the the subtlety of being able to read right those neurons like that and actually have it actually have it work well to the point where like it can actually help a person speak and express thoughts not just like vague things like it doesn't just put out a word cloud but actually you can actually get coherent uh thoughts from that you can actually you know um um derive something usable from that i mean right, that's pretty right. incredible yeah well i i know they've experimented with chips on people with spinal cord injuries to restore the electric impulse in the spine with some success right. um so yeah i mean that's first generation application to start to start to heal physical and brain injuries that are have long been considered impossible to fix but yeah, you know, then they're going to start to move on to, yeah, I mean, that that's the shit that Elon wants, to be able yes. to put in a chip and you know martial arts, like you know, the whole the whole Matrix nightmare. And of course, governments would really like a chip like that that could shut off a soldier's fear. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yep. Please clap. <laughs> 